Sky Dish. Joy Moss with Bad Boy Gaming, and we're back at Repacks. That's right, Repacks. Don't buy Repacks, they're a scam. You're correct, like 95, 94% as of recent times. Like 94, 93% of them are scams. But it seems the Repack sellers are a bit more genuine these days, um, a bit more credible which is not a huge gain from where we were before at 95%. So let's take a look at the um, most recent one I picked up. This is from DD Wizard, Magic the Gathering Card Pool, Rares, Mythics, Promo, and Vintage Pools, $1.60 each, or you buy three plus, you know, you get them at $1.52 each, I suppose. I ended up buying 50 of these. The cool thing I thought about this one, and... I'd like to know how many of these he actually has because the cards he's putting on the screen, um, it, it really does not. Yeah, this he would just took this from like a, like a scan or something. I mean, he could have scanned it on his own, you know, uh, scanner and then uploaded it, or he could have just got it somewhere offline. Um, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, like I always do. Um, if you have, maybe they did come from scans because he is throwing them like that. Maybe they are his own scans. I've, this one seems like a, a, a real reach to me, seeing a Black Lotus up there. Um, when you're asking $1.60 for your repacks, unless you have like 150, 200,000 repacks that you're offing, um, seems a bit nuts, man. Because if you pull one of those cards up there, you, you, gotta, you got some dough on your hand. There's Power 9 up there, you know? I, I don't know. We'll see what's up with this. But this is what we're looking at. I guess he has a few others around. I mean, very similar ones. Like, wow. Okay. So he's just got tons and tons of these repacks going around. Is DD Wizards a scam artist or not? We're going to find out. I purchased 50 of them. Okay. Now I'm not saying we're going to pull a power nine with 50 bucks worth of purchases, but you get only one card. That's it. One card per, uh, per purchase. That's it. Okay. So 50, you got 50 cards in here, but you get bonuses. Each order is a single card guaranteed to be rare, vintage, or mythic. I thought that was kind of neat. Buying in bulk gets you extra free cards. Read below for the bonus chart. Okay. Uh, booster pack on orders of 25 or more. And a Commander Legends booster pack for orders of 50 or more. Guaranteed extreme value cards added to orders of 250 or more. Well, we should have went that route, huh? Okay. So, no guaranteed value for us. I purchased 50. I'm trying to be a reasonable person here. And um, there's what you get. I'll leave that on the screen for a moment. Guys, let me just say this right now. Do not go out and purchase from any repack seller that I buy that you see on this channel. Okay? Let me spend my money so you don't have to. It's that simple. Just because I bought this does not mean you go and buy it. Okay? This is a review. This is trying to weed out um, the, the bad seeds out there. And I think over the course of the last few years, we've, we've weeded out a few sellers, you know? Um, that were just trash. And I mean, they're still out there. There's plenty of them. Let's see what we got here. Usually these ones are a uh, high risk. You're just throwing money and buying bulk crap they don't want. Let's take a look. Journey with me. Is it a bag of tricks? Are we going to get bulked out? God, I hope we don't get bulked out. Oh, man. Hey, that's the fun with these, though. You know, you, you just never know what you're going to get. It's like, uh, what's that? How many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? It's like one of those things, you know? And the world may never know. So I'm assuming we're going to get a boot. Uh, okay, okay. Crimson Vow and Commander Legends in here. This is our, this should be our 50. And then this is the bonus. Okay, so everything's looking legit so far. Thank you. We got a big thank you right here. All right, fair enough. I'm recording this kind of in reverse, so I hope it records correctly. Visit our website. There you go. D&D &D Wizards. Oh, yeah. Everything's in reverse right now. All right. Uh, we're going to put these packs off to the side. Here's the 50 we were promised. Ha, <laughs> take it down. Oh, man. We'll go through this in a pretty quick fashion. I'm sure there's a ton of bulk. Um, I, I feel like that's just the way the cookie crumbles with these. Oh, wow. Okay. So they come in like little little packs of cart. Oh, my goodness. A lot of flipping arounds. Okay. All right, starting things off. There we go. Uh, we got Dispossess as our first card. Revel of the Fallen God. Oh, my God. This guy's having a bad day. I hope we don't have the same experience. Prodigious growth. Remember, this was like a dollar, what, dollar sixty each? Felon of the Havenwood. Oh, God. Don't do that again. And then we have Astral Glide. There you go. All right, so nothing crazy. Wasn't Astral Glide one of those... Um, 
like buy a box promo cards or something. I believe so. Hey, there's our first mythic. We'll give a little shout out to our first mythic, Wing Wing the Rook. Behold the Beyond. That might be over a buck. Not too certain. Probably not. All right. So we got two mythics right now. We're gonna we're gonna tally up the mythic cards as we go. Disciple of Bolas, Badaskadink, Martial Law. Oh yeah, Bulkage, Nether Spirit. Mm. Some of these cards I'm really not too certain what they're at. But we're gonna zippity doo dot right through them. Aether, Squall, Ancient. It's a big old Leviathan. Hour of Revelation. Come on, give us something juicy. Give us something juicy. Hey, for a dollar and, uh, was it dollar and 60 cents each? I mean, there's really not a whole lot of room to complain. Hero of Aerials. Okay. So we are getting bulked out. Storm's Wrath. No foils, I've noticed. I don't think they, uh, did they mention foils? There's Storm's Wrath, though. Sure. Okay. Almost done with our first little bundle here. Boom, 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 boom. There's a foil. Hot diggity dogs. Oh, Baron. Baron, uh, Telerian Archmage. Not too shabby. We're going to move this up a little bit. There we go. Baron, uh, Telerian Archmage. Showing up. Solitary Confinement. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. The Perception. Things are not always what you perceive them to be. Slaughter Specialist. Ah, oh, she's fun, though. We got our first foil. And the Viper's Fang in the Showcase. So, I guess we could put that up here. Okay. Making our way down. Shroomp. Hey, something older. We got Possessed Nomad. Attack, attack, Possessed Nomad. Attack. Threshold Possessed Nomad gets plus one, plus one is black. And has. Oh, well, that's hating on white. If that isn't hating on whitey, I don't know what is. Okay. So that's our first older card. I guess we make separate piles here. Shrink. Whoopsie doodle. There we go. Sphinx of Lost Truths. Sure. Maybe I can hold them like this. If only I was, like, right-handed. Actually, that wouldn't help, would it? Okay. Uh, the Gargon, Immortal Servitude. So far, only two Mythic cards. And Thunderblade Charge from Future Sight. That's another one of them older cards. We'll put in that older pile. All right. Hey, for a buck sixty, I really don't know what I'm doing here yet. Uh, pithing, ne pithing Needle. Okay, the reprint version, Pithing Needle. That's cool. Relic Robber. So that's our first like value card. Maybe like a maybe like two bucks. Relic <laughs> Relic Robber. Deadly Vanity. Are we upside down? Probably. Selfless Glyph Weaver. Okay. Going fast. Goblin Goon. There you have it. Ah, what sets that from? Is that Jumpstart? Probably. Treasury Thrall. Ugh. Okay. Nothing spectacular there. So our first twenty-five. A little rough. A little rough to say the least. But I think that's expected for the price we're paying here. All right. Just hoping to get somewhere in the ballpark of our money back. Out of time. Out of time. Dubious challenge. Sure ain't doubling season, is it? All right. So that goes in the who cares pile. Uh, Sigarda's Vanguard. At least we got a nice little angel. I do like angels. Shump. Hazard's Fervor. Not really doing much for us. And the old Primordial. Big old boy. Okay. Was that a commander set? Nobody knows. Shroom, shroom, shroom. Dig up. There you go from Strixhaven. A little dig up action. And ball lightning. Hey, ball lightning from Jumpstart shows up. I think that's Jumpstart. Maybe. We'll see. All right, ball lightning. Not worth a whole bunch. Immolation Shaman. Armistice. Hey, focus. Armistice from Commander. You draw a card and target opponent gains three life. Ooh. <laughs> If you have, like, unlimited card draw, I mean, that shouldn't be too bad. It's an enchantment, but whatever. Void Stalker. There you go. Two drop from M13. Okay. I guess we can consider that, like, an older card. Somewhat. There you go. What was that commander card? 20, 2014? Yeah, sure. You go over there, too. Whatever. Shump. Magus of the Abyss. If I had a dollar for every Magus of the Abyss I pulled. Hey, Edgar. How you doing? Lena, Selfless Champion from M19. We got ourselves the Edgar Markov's Coffin and Edgar Charm to groom himself. Victory Charms. Sh chimes. Shut up. Cabal Minion. That's how you know you're getting bulked out in a repack. You see that ugly son of a bitch? All right. Keeping it trucking. Swing! Uh, Arnie, broken bro. We all got a friend, man. He's always broke. Always needs a, a free uh, a, f a free 24-ounce, you know, at the bar. Pack Leader. Cool. Hey, if dogs ever go wild, there we go. Dog's gone wild. That'd be something. 
Uh, Puzzle Award. I don't remember seeing this too often. Probably one of the Commander sets. Which one is that? Uh, 2021. Must be more recent. Okay. Dispossess. And Moon Sliver Spear. All right, all right. Fair enough. Yeah, getting hosed. Uh, Lava Brink Venturer. Fun card to play with, though. Uh, Enigma Sphinx. Only hit two Mythic cards so far. That's kind of shapoopy. Uh, Timid Youthful Geist. All right. No Spirit. Sure. Way overpaying for that. And uh, Resurrector with Sludge Monster to close that one out. Ooh. B R U T A L full. Okay, brutal. Uh, Abzan Ascendancy. Probably like 34 cents, give or take a penny. All right. Mass Mutiny. Ooh, this is bad. I mean, you get what you pay for. You know, as we're ring a dang a thing, what is nuts thing? All right. And we got Centaur Vine Crasher with Silver Quill Silencer. All right. So definitely bulking out. Here's the freebie we got for getting 50. I wonder if these are all random. Some people do it all random. Some people make them as they go. Uh, I like to purchase from the people who make them as they go. Uh, Delaying Shield. What was that Odyssey? From way back in the day. And then, whoops. There we go. If you want to pause it and read what it all says on the text. All right. And Maelstrom Archangel. There's our second mythic. Looks like some jumpstart action. More bulkage. Okay. Uh, the old battalion for the elf warrior clan. Professor, sure, gnarled professor, and foul renewal. Yikes. Guys, it's not looking too good. But this is what I expected, you know? So it is what it is. That What they said is they delivered. Gust Cloak Savior. Okay. That's why I like to go big, you know? Because, like, I take a big gamble at uh, hitting some craziness. And uh, odds are usually way stacked against me, Thunder <laughs> Nightmare. Spoin Rock new. No. All right, all right. And Odric Blood Cursed. There you go. You can see what's, what boxes he, he bought a lot of and was like, man, this set sucks, you know. Uh, Gaze of Granite showing on up. Sure. Shrink. We got ourselves Edgar Charmed Groom again. The old Midnight Oil. Arnie Broken Bro. Heretic's Punishment. That's from Innistrad back in the day. So we'll give it that a little credit. You can go up in that pile. Shrink. Forebearer's Blade of Bulk. Come on, give us something juicy. Cruel Ultimatum might be a buck or two. We'll see. I know the Ultimatums can uh, hold some value here and there. Not as many Mythic cards as we'd like. Spirit of the Hearth. Cat Spirit. That's something, huh? An Argent, Argent Sphinx. All right. Odric, Master Tactician. Yeah, definitely tons of bulkage from DD Wizard here. But again, we did only pay a buck. 60 a card it is what it is future sight and we got a little uh little extra a little extra oomph old stick fingers that's what happens when you spend too much time with that bottle of jergens you know spark trooper and hactos unscarred i like playing with him i've closed out many games with that very very fun to play with all right closing things out we got ourselves galvanic iteration sure storm Storm Seeker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing nuts, man. Oh, hey, there's an old nut stain right there. And Foil Showcase. That might be a few dollars. We'll give it the old bell. There's a foil. All right, and Enduring Archangel for another Mythic card. Sweet. And Bandit Lord. All right, so we're at, what, four? Four Mythic cards? All right, let's, let's crack our pack of Innistrad Crimson Vow first, and then Commander Legends. Nice little perk there. He's like, thanks for showing up. Here's a chance of actually getting some value. Oh, what is that? Sacrifice Evolving Wild. Search your lighter for a basic linker. Put on the battlefield. Tap and shuffle. Okay. Well, clearly this repack is worth it. That card is busted. Absolutely probably the first printing of this card and last, I would assume, because uh, why would they make another one? Um, big mistake on Wizard's part there with Evolving Wilds. Uh, that's... That's making us feel good, man. So good we can go nuts. We got some infantry. I have a feeling we're gonna get a nice little hit here. Storm Chase, Dawn Heart, Mirror Hall Mimic. Okay. That's our uh, that's probably like the best we're gonna get right there. Just kidding. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Swampage foil. It's nice, probably a buck fifty. Might be the most value out of this. And this, that, and the other. Okay, so another foil, but that really doesn't count. We'll take what we can get. Commander Legends, come on. 
Give us something to talk about. Give us something to brag about. Can we get something from Commando Legends? How about a Jeweled Lotus? Call it a day. That would be nuts, man. All right, fall from favor. Sky Diamond, Terramorphic Expanse, terrible card. Vault of Champions. All right, that's a few bucks. Maybe like five bucks or something like that. Got a little luck. A little luck be on our side. The old Ragant. All right, another rare. Pretty cool. Dreamstone Hedron. So we're closing this one out. All right. Oh, Mnemonic Deluge. Wow. Three rares and one Commander Legends pack. Is that normal? This wasn't Collector, right? Absolutely not. Okay. I mean, we'll take that. Mnemonic Deluge. Uh, Celebrante over here. That goes in the Mythic pile. Celebrante Bounty. Shroud of Four? Is that how these packs were? Oh, man. I feel like I opened so much stuff. It's hard to keep track. Fall from Favor. Foil and the Prismatic Piper. Wow. That just seemed kind of all over the place. All right. So that closes it out. Um, in a nutshell, if you're, if, I guess if you're new to the game, you just want to get some cards, you know, to like mess around with and draft. I mean, this is not a bad route. Are you going to break the, are you going to break your bank? No. Are you going to hit some huge value cards? Probably not. Um, I can't give them uh, two thumbs down. I can't give them two thumbs up. It's kind of like a thumb up and to the side, you know? It would have been nice to pull some real value, but I do give them two thumbs up in the fact that what it said in the listing is what you got, you know? And and that's what I look for in repack sellers, you know? Are you delivering what you say? And this person certainly is. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. If you liked my commentary, give two thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Skidink, skidink. Just to be there in my